Hi everyone, Lewis here, and today I'm going to be making a short and simple tutorial video on how exactly you can have multiple characters in the Daisy mod for Armor 2. It is quite simple, but it does require you to have more than one copy of Armor 2 combined operations, which is going to put off a lot of people, but there's simply no other way of doing this. In my case, I've got three accounts. It does mean you can play with different groups of people and not worry about, for example, your character dying and then missing out on the rest of the story with a certain group of people if you do want to do that. So anyway, we'll get straight into it. In my case, I am going to be showing you guys how to do it with Steam. I'm pretty sure a lot of people will have it already for Steam. But before you do anything, you do want to make sure it does work fully without doing this. And you cannot use 6 launcher to do the way I'm going to be doing it. It has to be done completely manually. So the DayZ mod has to be installed manually. I've got a video on that if you do want to go check that out. And also the beta patch has to be installed manually. So you can't use 6 launcher. And you do need to make sure this works on both of your Steam accounts before you do anything. After you've done that, the main problem you really have is making sure that the game opens up with DayZ and the beta patch. Because the way it works is when you open it up on Steam... It changes a, regis a registry file even, sorry, which makes it so your character is basically attached to that CD key. So you need to make sure you are running it through Steam, otherwise it won't do that, which is the main kind of thing which people have issues with. So just right click on Operation Arrowhead, go to Properties and Set Launch Options, and just paste these launch options into the launch options for that game. They'll be in the description below, so just copy and paste those in there. And once you've done that, go Start, Computer, local disk or wherever your steam folder is in my case it's a local disk and there will be a full path to the folder in the description below and then into expansion and then in, into beta you have to do this every time you install a new beta patch it is kind of annoying but since people don't really tend to update that much it's not really that big of a problem and once you're in the beta patch folder just copy this file right here go back two times and then you want to paste it paste it into here i would recommend um one second, I'll do it myself. You'll see a file is already there called armor2oa.exe. Just rename that to anything just in case it does mess up in some way. And then you can paste in the new one, which is the beta um, launcher, I guess, as it were. And once you've done that, you're pretty much done. You just need to make sure that, of course, you do this, like I said, whenever there's a beta patch. And just make sure everything works before you do this whatsoever. And once you've done that, you can just log off this account, log on to a different account, and then launch the game through Steam again. And making sure, of course, that a second account is using the same launch options, otherwise it will not work. So um, if you do go on your separate account, just right-click on the game again, properties, set launch options, and paste it in. And then it should work fine. And I'm just going to show you guys quickly me in game with my two different accounts to prove that it does work. And you can just check the times in the bottom right of both of those little snippets, I guess, so you can see that it is indeed working. So I'll be right back when I'm in game. Okay, so there we go. I am now on my first main account. And as you can see on the map right here, I am just a bit north of Sherno with my Dragonov and everything. So obviously, if I go on a different character with different weapons, then you know you can obviously see from that that I am on a different account. And you can see the account I am on is called NLive. And my second account is called NLive2. And I am just going to go on that account quickly and show you guys that one as well, just to prove it does work with different characters and all that good stuff. Okay, I'm now on my second account on a pitch black server. You can see it is more or less the same time in the bottom right. Um, I think I'm just west of Electra on this character. I can't quite remember, but you can see the stats and my inventory are completely different. So it is indeed a different character. And I am on my second Steam account, which is aptly named NLiveT because I'm awful at naming my Steam accounts. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below and I will try to help you out. A quick overview for those who are confused. Basically, you need two or more Steam accounts with a copy of Armor 2 Combined Operations on all of those Steam accounts. And then you just need to make sure that you are actually launching the game through Steam rather than using any third-party programs such as Six Launcher or anything similar to that. As usual, there will be a step-by-step -step guide in the description below if you do want to go check out that in a bit more detail. And if you did find the video useful or informative, then please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time.